Hi everyone, let us discuss this concept cover of a matrix space. So let us consider one matrix space, then we will talk about its cover. Let XD be a matrix space. Okay, so we have one matrix space. So let me show it here. Suppose this is our matrix space. Okay, so we have this matrix space XD and we have a collection script C of subsets of matrix space XD. So let us consider here G1, G2, G3, G4, G5 and G6. How many sets we have? G6. All these are subsets of matrix space XD. So let me show all these sets in this diagram. Suppose this is set G1. Okay. This is set G2. Suppose this is set G3. This is set G4. Suppose this is set G5 and this is set G6. Okay, is it visible to all? Yes. So now what will I do? I will consider their union. Then union of GI, I running from 1 to 6. Total 6 sets are there. I am taking their union. Will you tell me what will be their union? Their union is nothing but the entire matrix space X. It means we have a collection of subsets of X and their union is going to cover the matrix space X. Then we call it is a cover of matrix space XD. Okay, so therefore we can declare therefore script C is a cover of matrix space XD. Okay, so this is the actual meaning of cover of a matrix space. So let me write the actual definition. Okay, so here we have space let us use. So let us write definition. So a collection, collection of subsets of subsets of matrix space XD, this collection of subsets of matrix space XD, script C, G alpha, alpha belongs to lambda. So I'm considering a collection of subsets of matrix space XD, G alpha, alpha belongs to lambda, it's, it's said to be cover of matrix space XD if union of G alpha alpha belongs to lambda is equal to X. So here I have taken G alpha alpha belongs to lambda. Okay. So in this example, we had taken only six sets. But see, it is not compulsory that each and every time we will have a finite collection which will cover the entire matrix space XD. So there can be in some cases, there can be infinite collection is required. So for that, I'm denoting in this way, G alpha, where lambda can be a finite set, can be infinite set. Okay, so all these, this is a collection of subsets of matrix space XD, getting? And their union is entire matrix space XD. Then we say it is a cover of matrix space XD. Let us discuss one example so you can clearly understand this concept. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So now I'm going to consider a matrix space RDU. I hope you are familiar with this matrix, usual matrix DU. So it is defined as d of x y is equal to mod x minus y. So this is the definition of usual matrix. Okay. See uh, in previous videos, we have already seen what is usual matrix in details. So this usual matrix we have in R and let I'm considering a collection of subsets of R. So that is g n is equal to minus n comma n. That set g n is defined in this way. n belongs to set of natural number. Okay. So this is a collection of subsets of matrix space RDU. Okay. Uh, so let me draw that real line. So this is a real line we have, right? At the middle, always we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here on that side, this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. Okay. Uh, so this collection we have, let us discuss all these sets one by one. G1, what will be G1? By simply putting n is equal to 1, we will have minus 1 comma 1. Getting? G2 will be minus 2 comma 2. G3 will be minus 3 comma 3. G4 is minus 4 comma 4. Getting? 
and how many sets are there infinitely many sets are there so let me show all these sets in this diagram so the first set is minus 1 comma 1 second is minus 2 comma 2 third is minus 3 comma 3 next minus 4 comma 4 next is minus 5 comma 5 and so on how many sets are there infinitely many sets are there this is first set this is second this is third fourth fifth infinitely many sets are there so will you guess their union their union will be let me show here then un union of gn n belongs to set of natural number will you guess the union union is nothing but entire real line getting so this sets their union is going to cover the entire real line so that's why i can write here this is equal to r getting my point so therefore we can say we have a collection of uh, L, uh, subsets of R such that their union is going to cover R. So therefore, we can declare script C is a cover of R, okay, with usual matrix, okay. So this is a definition of actual concept of cover of a matrix space. Make a screenshot of it, then we will go for the next concept. So the next concept is open cover, okay, open cover. So let me write the definition first a cover a cover script c g alpha alpha belongs to lambda of a matrix space xd is said to be an open cover if can you guess the definition yeah can you guess the next part of it when we say it is an open cover basically we should have a cover Basically, we should have a cover. When we call it as an open cover, obviously, if each set G alpha is an open set, then we call it as an open cover. If each G n, n belongs to set of natural number, is an open set. Okay, so if each set G alpha is an open set, then the corresponding cover is said to be an open cover. Let us discuss one example. I will continue the same example in matrix space RDU. Okay, so just now we have already seen this example RDU and our cover was GN minus N comma N. N belongs to set of natural number. Okay, so just now we have already discussed that their union GN N belongs to set of natural number is R. Is R. Getting? So it is a cover of R basically. Uh, so therefore, script c is a cover of r it should be a cover then we can talk about it is an open cover or not okay so it is a cover right did you notice each gn is an open interval and we know that every open interval is an open set in a usual matrix space r right so therefore let me mention here 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 each gn is an open set getting so it is an open interval so that's why it is an open set in r so therefore script c is an open cover of a matrix space r du so this is a this concept also we have covered that is open cover so let us go for the next concept make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us talk about sub cover okay uh, so let me write a definition first. A sub collection script C dash of a cover script C of X of a matrix space XD is said to be sub cover of script C if if script C dash is a cover of matrix space XD okay so this is the definition of sub cover so let us uh, try to understand what is meaning of it basically we should have a o cover getting basically we should have a cover so we have a cover script C of a matrix space XD and script C dash is a sub collection sub collection that means we are taking some elements from the main cover 
and again that script c-dash is also cover of matrix space xd then we call it as a sub cover of a script c let us discuss one example suppose we have a matrix space xd and script c is g1 g2 g3 and so on g10 it has only 10 elements and their union gi i running from 1 to 10 is matrix space x that means this is a cover of matrix space xd right so let us talk about script c dash i am taking some elements from the main cover so i can take g2 it is present in main cover i can take g5 i can take g9 i can take g10 only okay so i am considering this four elements and again and g2 union g5 union g9 union g10 that is also matrix space x so i am taking a sub collection from script c and their union is again uh, x that means again script c dash is also cover of x then we declare therefore script c dash is a sub cover it is a sub cover of main cover script c okay for a matrix space xd so this is a definition of sub cover okay let us discuss one example so you can easily understand this concept Okay, so uh, consider a matrix space RDU, obviously it is a usual matrix, okay, and script C is GN. We have already seen that minus N, comma N, N belongs to set of natural number is a cover of R, okay, we have already seen that it is a cover of R. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to consider now script C dash, so it is G n k so it is i am defining in this way so yes it is a minus 2 n comma 2 n n belongs to set of natural number okay i am defining this way so you simply you can say this is minus 2 n comma 2 n so what will be the g n 1 what will be the first set just by putting n is equal to 1 we will have the first set minus 2 comma 2 what will be the second set? It will be minus 4, 4 by putting n is equal to 2. G n 3, it will be getting, uh, it will be minus 6, 6 and so on. So let me show those sets in diagram. So this is first set is minus 2, 2. Next is minus 4, 4. Next is minus 6, 6. You can easily understand that basically all these sets are elements of script C. Getting, we are taking few elements from script C. We are not considering all sets. We are considering some sets from script C. And uh, again, you can easily see their union. You can easily see the union minus 2n, 2n, n belongs to set of natural number is again a real line R. Getting? So that means script C is, there is no doubt that script C is a cover of R, but we got a finite, uh, we got a sub collection script C dash, which is, which is also cover of R. So therefore we can declare, therefore script C dash is a sub cover of script C. Okay. So yes, make a screenshot of it. Then we will go for the last concept. So the last concept is finite sub cover you can easily guess the meaning of it so let me write a definition if script c dash is a sub cover of script c so basically we have a cover script c for a matrix space xd and we have a script c dash be a sub cover of script c and that script c dash has finite number of elements finite number of elements okay it has finite number of elements then we call it as a finite sub cover then script c dash it's called finite sub cover finite sub cover of script c get it so what it means basically it should be sub cover and it should have finite number of elements then we call it as a finite sub cover okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you